I love Japanese urban legends. If you actually go through some of them, you'll find some genuinely terrifying stories in there. Stuff that far exceeds the kind of Western urban legends we're used to. One such story is the Teki Teki. Tek Tek, whatever you want to call it. The legend of a ghost missing her legs that stalks and kills people at night. Now, you'd think with a premise like that, that it wouldn't be hard to make a truly creepy horror movie. But somehow, they dropped the ball. Now, stop me if you've heard this one before. The story is... <laughs> It's about as generic as you can get with these kind of movies. Japanese schoolgirl likes a boy. Her friend tries to set them up. It doesn't work. They walk home and get in an argument because the boy didn't like the one girl, but liked the girl who tried to set them up in the first place. They separate. One of them is slaughtered, and then the survivor spends the rest of the movie trying to figure out the origin of the Teki Teki. Basically the same plot as like The Ring, or like any of these movies where it's like the, uh, one lone survivor walking around, like interviewing people, talking to people, trying to figure out what the source of like a certain curse or ghost is there oh there's so many of these movies it's been a while since i've seen a movie waste a premise that could have easily been terrifying it's like all right we have the base legend of a female torso running around on her hands killing people in the dead of night let's ruin it by using mainly pov shots like this is evil dead or some shit throw in some real jank cgi this glorious shot <laughs> and make it not scary at all. It really sucks, because there were some somewhat creepy shots in this thing, and I think even they knew it, because they reused the same shot of the ghost like five times. And if you're not gonna give us scares, at least give us gore. Nah, you get none of that either. I mean, you do, but it's like that kind of gore where they're like, right at the last minute, they cut away, and they're more content just throwing a bucket of blood at a wall, or like into the air, or something like that, rather than actually showing you, you know, the good stuff. Now, to its credit, this movie is clearly very low budget. Most Japanese horror movies are. I mean, you only need to take a look at this one shot here just to see how cheap we're talking. But I mean, so was Juan, and so was Ringu. The low budget easily could have been used in this movie's favor. Remove the stupid sounds that the Teki Teki makes running around that sounds like a duck, like the, the pitter patter of like duck feet. Keep it obscured in shadow and show it little by little. Keep it somewhat of a mystery. Instead, this is boring and cheesy. That being said, there is a sequel made the same year as this one, which also premiered at the exact same time as this one did, which is really weird. Is it better? I don't know, but considering how boring this one was, I'm not inclined to find out. 